Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, checking out MarvelousNews.com. And I've already mentioned this before, but we have the Infinity War Marvel Legends wave that has dropped in Southern California. And I want to show off some pictures and I have some other more updated news to go along with these photos. But I wanted to take a look at Songbird right over here, looking fantastic. And then we're also getting our Nomad or our Captain America slash Steve Rogers. And I gotta say, so far this is the most accurate Steve Rogers movie figure that we've ever seen and he's got the beard and everything uh, not looking too bad and of course we, we are getting the Thanos movie build a figure so I'm stoked about that here's a look at the iron spider uh, again this is just not my favorite design you know uh, I get it you know I understand what they're doing over here with the iron spider and everything but yeah I don't know maybe if it looked like a little bit more like comic iron spider and less like Miles Morales spider-man I don't know and then we have taskmaster which looks great I mean we've been needing a new taskmaster figure or a new uh, classic taskmaster for quite some time uh, but for some reason the head sculpt on this doesn't look as cool as I remember seeing it in those, I think it was the Hascon images where they had those on that table, the, that round table where Press was looking at all the figures on the, on the table and everything, so I don't know. But it still looks very cool. I'm excited for it. Then we have King Cobra. I'm stoked about us getting one more figure for our Serpent Society. And you can see, of course, they're reusing the Green Goblin body mold, or I guess that was the Hobgoblin you know, body mold at first. But yeah, so, or actually, no, wasn't it the uh, Dread Knight? Yeah, it was Dread Knight. Uh, I don't want to say the wrong thing here. And then, lastly, or this isn't lastly, uh, we have the Iron Man Mark 47 figure, right? I think this is the Mark 47. Unless, oh no, no, this has got to be the Mark 48. Yeah, 47 was in Spider Man Homecoming. So this has got to be the Mark 48. And you can see they're using those blast effects again in a more teal color. I like how they change that up every time. It looks like a pretty decent looking Iron Man, you know? Uh, I've heard people complain about the head sculpt or the helmet sculpt, but to me, I, I don't know. I, I think it looks pretty good, you know? And then we have Proxima Midnight. And this is a big deal for me because I've been complaining a lot about the lack of double jointed elbows on the female figures. And here we have a female figure with the doubler jointed elbows. Ooh, I'm excited. So hopefully we see more of this. I mean, it doesn't look like any other figures in the near future coming out are going to have double jointed elbows. But it's a step, you know what I mean? Hey, it's, it's a female figure with double jointed elbows. This was a concern I was going to bring up over at Toy Fair, but there they go. They shut me up before I could even get there. And then as far as the latest news, uh, due to the Venom movie, we're getting some Venom product from Hasbro coming in the near future. Uh, you can see these are these uh, two six inch uh, figures. We have Venom and Carnage, and they look pretty cool, I guess. I mean, they're, they're, they're not, you know, really for me. It looks like Clayton Crane artwork right there on the packaging, which I think is pretty neat. But yeah, these you have limited posability, but they look pretty neat. And then we have the 12 inch Titans figures. Uh, we have one of Carnage over here not looking too bad. I'm suspecting we're going to see Carnage in this new Venom movie, and then you can see that there's a 12-inch Titans Venom figure as well. But it doesn't stop there, man. Oh, no, it did not. We are getting new Marvel Legends Carnage! Looking pretty sweet. Uh, we get that new axe accessory over there, you know, and it looks like it could be a reissue. I don't know, the body mold, and it's hard to say because I looked for, you know, the veins and the details of the Bucky Cat mold because that's what they used for the previous Carnage figure and to me it kind of looks like that Bucky cap mold but I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, the tendrils look like they're added in different places, right? I, am I wrong about that? I don't know. I still have my Carnage figure hanging from the ceiling. so. But we're definitely getting those new hands and I'm excited about that. The head sculpt does look the same so it could be just the new hands. And then we are also getting a brand new Venom figure. Now I say brand new because it's new, but it doesn't look all brand new. Like that head sculpt looks the same. And it's kind of funny that they're releasing a new Venom figure because I just mentioned, uh, I think, I can't remember where I mentioned this. I don't know where I say things, but there's the uh, Omega Red figure that we're getting and I didn't really pick up on the double jointed elbows or I mean, the, God, what am I saying? I didn't pick up on the uh, shoulder, the butterfly joints and the armpits. And 
that was something that kind of made me think, wait, so could we possibly get a Venom figure that has the shoulder joint, you know, that armpit joint? That would be great to have those butterfly joints right there in the torso. But no, it looks like we're not getting that at all. Uh, we're getting what looks to be the Namor upper torso. I'm just going to guess that they're all the Namor up, upper torso until somebody corrects me. That's where I'm going with over here. But it does look like the Namor upper torso with those Hyperion arms. And we're getting added tendril, symbiote tendrils right there and i'll say symbiote any way i want to i don't care what you other people say so i don't know how i feel about this it could be cool the head looks a little bit big you know what i'm saying so I, i'm, I'm kind of like half excited over here and it's going to be a whole marvel legends venom themed wave uh, i don't know what the build a figure is going to be um, hopefully we see more uh, symbiote characters. That would be great. It would be really awesome if it did include the Foundation's Guardian symbiotes, you know, to complete that team. That would be great to have all five of those. But I don't know what the Build-A-Figure would be. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck. Like, would it be a giant Venom figure? I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. That's really my best guess at this moment. Like, a giant symbiote character, you know? You know what I'd like to see is a build a figure though is weapon h you know i don't know if you guys are reading all the comics but a weapon h would be fantastic but anyway i want to know your thoughts which characters would you like to see in a marvel legends wave and what do you think the build a figure would be my guess is a giant symbiote venom you know just with tendrils all over the place and giant mouth and all freaky and everything so that is something that would be really cool to see i'd like to see that but i don't know i highly doubt that they would go in that direction but i'm curious to know what you guys think if you want to see high-res images they're all over at marvelousnews.com and i will have a review later up today don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys later Bye. hey new sharp miss prime videos hey you should click one yeah, click on one of them or subscribe if you haven't